Hi everyone, welcome back to Nurse Catherine here and welcome back to another educational style video. In today's video, I wanted to teach you a technique or more so the basics of adult CPR and proper hand placement when giving CPR. Hand placement is everything when giving CPR. You want to be confident about where your hands are placed on this patient's chest so you can help give them the best outcome possible. So that's what I will be doing in today's video. This is going to be short and sweet and right to the point. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now before I even get this video started. All right, so now that you hit it, let's start. Okay, so this is the mannequin we are going to be using today. I will link the description of everything that I'm saying below and I will also write it out below if you miss something. But first you want to locate the end of the breastbone. So that's where the breastbone and the ribs meet. On this mannequin it's quite easy to see because of the V that is here. Not everybody it will be that easy to see but this is pretty simple. So locate that point right there and then you're going to take the heel of your hand. So the heel of your hand and place that right above that spot. That is where you are going to be doing your chest compressions. You simply overlap your hands then and then you can start giving your compressions. So let me walk you through this one more time. Find the bottom of the breastbone. Take your heel of your hand, of your dominant hand, and place that right above that point. Overlap your non-dominant hand, get on top, and then start compressing. That is your landmark right there for where you're going to put that heel of your hand. And that is it. That is where you place the heel of your hand when you're giving adult styled CPR if you want to say it in that form. But other than that, that is it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you are notified of new videos coming out just like this every single week and helping you become the best nurse you can possibly be. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Today, I want to thank Code One Training Solutions. I'm here at the Atlanta office, but they have 22 offices up and down the East Coast from Maine to Florida, just like this bigger training facilities and small rooms just like this where they have their beacon system which is RQI and a live person watching you and helping you through your BLS and ACLS training. In the hospital that I used to work at, we used to do RQI training every quarter. Here with Code 1, you actually only have to do training every two years. This gives you a two-year BLS certification with the mix of RQI, a mix of somebody watching you here on the screen. For more information about Code 1 training solutions, you can pop down to the description and find links to their website, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn accounts. Again, thank you so much Code 1 Training Solutions for allowing me to use your space to create better and more in-depth content for my viewers.